65, the scripture says, What sorrow awaits you teachers of religious law, and you Pharisees, hypocrites, for you are so careful to clean the outside of the cup and the dish, but inside you are filthy. You're full of greed and self-indulgence. You blind Pharisee, first wash the inside of the cup and the dish, and then the outside will become clean too. Well, what does this speak of? They try to appear righteous on the outside, but they've not taken care of properly what's on the inside. God wants to clean them in the depths of the core of their being with his pure light, with the Holy Spirit. He wants to examine every motive and rid them of any wrong motive. He wants to free them from the power of sin so that they can truly become slaves of God and live righteously as empowered by the Holy Spirit and not just trying to appear righteous to other people, but then going home and sinning, going home and slandering others, going home and gossiping, going home and being sexually immoral, right? How many scandals do we have to have before we realize we need something more than a form of religion, but the power of God revealed through Christ Jesus. The scripture says in 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 5, that people have a form of godliness, but they deny the very power that could make them godly. So there is power available to make people godly, but they refuse to actually come to God to receive the power of God to live godly because they want to have a mixture, sin and Jesus. But Jesus delivers you from sin. Behold the Lamb of God who comes to take away the sin of the world, the scripture says. That's why he came. And to restore us back to fellowship with God. So don't try to appear righteously if you're not righteous in who you are. Ask Jesus to cleanse you, to save you, to free you from sin. And you don't have to pretend or put on a game. It's a burden to do that. Just say, God, I truly want to become righteous, but I can only become righteous by your precious son, Jesus. So ask him to join you to Jesus so that you can truly live righteously and holy. But